Good afternoon, Michigan 4-H'ers. This is Doc. Hi, Doc Hazel. Hello, everyone. This is Taylor Fabus. Um, don't worry, the camera won't be on me very much tonight. Um, but I wanted to share something with you that I thought would be useful for several 4-H'ers, especially as I've been in a few different counties over the last few weeks, judging some horse shows and um, seeing some other riders. This is something that I do think uh, needs to be reviewed and could be improved really easily to help kiddos with their riding. So as the title suggests, we're going to talk a little bit about stirrup length. Um, First of all, know that I am not the end-all, be-all expert on this, but as a judge, I do see some riders that their equitation and just overall function of riding could be improved if someone helped them with their stirrup length a little bit. Um, I also know that there are some discipline differences or even some individual training differences, so that's totally fine. I don't want you to change everything up and uh, goof up your riding, but I have several times already this year asked a rider in one class if they would, most often it's shorten their stirrups. I don't know that I've told anybody to put their stirrups down yet, um, but I've asked them, hey, why don't you shorten your stirrups by a couple notches? They do it, they come back in the next class and their equitation is already so much improved. So I have two lovely riders who have been voluntold to uh, help me with this video today. So Taylor, I'm gonna have you go over this way because the sun over there goofs up the video. All right, so we have Taylor and Doc here riding Western and her lovely sister, who is behind us is riding English. Kind of just do a circle around me or what have you. So for those of you that see Taylor here, I'm guessing you can imagine what I had her do on this side. She put her stirrup down too long. So Taylor, go ahead and jog around. And you'll see that Taylor is constantly, uh oh, your other ring got really long. <laughs> uh, Taylor's constantly reaching for this stirrup. Uh, it makes it really difficult to put your heels down and place weight in your stirrups um, if your stirrups are too long. And I will be honest with you, this is what I see far more often than the contrary. I see Western and English stirrups, especially English. Imagine posting with this long of a stirrup, and I see it all the time. Um, so I far more often see stirrups that are too long than I see that they are too short. So get out of the sun here. Too short makes sense because maybe a rider has um, gone through a growth spurt. As a mother, I know that can literally happen overnight. Um, so that makes sense, but I think um, the too long is just maybe a little bit of um, knowledge gap there. So Taylor, go ahead and jog in reverse and we'll check out the other side, which is what we consider the more ideal side. And this is where Taylor normally rides at, coming over here. Now for my riders, I'm far more focused on equitation and horsemanship than I am Western Pleasure. So I do know that some Western Pleasure trainers and riders will have a longer stirrup so they can reach under their horse's belly more, that's fine. Uh, but for me, we care more about equitation, horsemanship, and functional riding. Okay, so here's Taylor, here's her stirrup length. We'll go past the big bright door. And we'll see, it's much easier for you to keep weight in your stirrup this way, right? So I'm guessing that the other way, it feels like your stirrup wants to fall off your foot, kind of. Yeah, so this makes it easier for her to keep her stirrups. And that's what we like. Go ahead and reverse quickly one more time and we'll peek at the other side. Mr. Doc. And here's the too long a stirrup. See this all the time. I see that same stirrup length in hunt seat too. So posting, I mean, their legs just get way out in front of them and really loose and uh, just makes things difficult. All right, Aaliyah, your turn. All right, so we had Aaliyah show us the opposite problem, which I don't see very often, but we thought, why not? We'll show you. So she has a couple problems here that we did on purpose. First of all, let's meet, hi Skip, and Aaliyah. Um, Aaliyah here has one of my pet peeves, and I know lots of people do it, so I still love you if you do it, but riding hunt seat in a western spur. 
sometimes we have horses that are really lazy and you absolutely <coughs> excuse me have to do it for waking up purposes but for me i want my riders to warm up in a very similar way in which they're going to show so we don't get to show in that big of hunt seat spur so I'll make her change these out into her little hunt seat spurs so that mimics what she's gonna do when she's showing. Okay, but here Leah has a stirrup. What do we think this is, Leah? Too short, too long, just right. This one's too short. So it's even kind of crunched up her knee angle there and it's almost off the saddle. Aaliyah has a nice little hunt seat saddle that fits her and her horse well. It needs a riser pad um, to sit nice and level, but go ahead and reverse Leah and let's see what we like on the other side. Remember, I keep that leg back and underneath you. So the rider's position of their leg can also affect their um, stirrup length too. So kick your leg way out in front of you like you were riding a minute ago. Okay, and it looked kind of crazy. Now put it right where it should be under your butt. One thing I do see a lot, guys, too, is um, riders that get their feet way too far back. Can you try that? So not only is their foot too far back and it's harder to keep their um, heel down, although kudos to Aaliyah here, she has wonderful equitation. So for her, it's going to be natural to keep her heels down wherever she puts her leg. But you get close to an area back here where a horse really doesn't want to be bothered. So try to keep your foot closer to that girth, okay? All right, go ahead and post around a little bit, and I'll have you just kind of like serpentine so people can see both sides. But we'll try to stay away from the sun here we have lots of people watching ladies does it let me zoom in oh it sure does all right so right now we're looking at the side that we like and I know there's going to be individual preferences on some judges some riders and some trainers and that's fine but I'll tell you these are closer to correct than our bad examples. All right, and go ahead and do a little circle in that corner so you can go back the other way. And we will see her too short side. <laughs> She's talented. She's riding with two different leg lengths here. So her knee is up off the saddle. It's just a little too cranked up there. <coughs> Here's another thing to note, everyone. Um, the boots that you ride in. So when my girls ride in their winter boots, often those have a thicker sole, and that is going to affect your stirrup length as well. All right, Miss Aaliyah, Miss Taylor, we can fix your crazy stirrups. You're welcome, Raylene. We have someone watching from Washington State, guys. All right, so hopefully this was helpful. For the most part, I would say, so for the most part, I would say about 75% of the time, 75% of the time my allergies are killing me, <laughs> um, is that I want to see stirrups a little bit shorter than I'm seeing um, as a judge. And Taylor can vouch for me on that because she was my ring steward recently. Um, and we helped several riders by shorting up their stirrups with their permission. So, all right, guys, have a great night. Bye-bye.